Hey everyone, welcome back to Bees and Tractors. I ain't put out a video in a while. My brother's sister-in-law been down and um, me and my brother, we've been busy clearing brush out of fence rows and stuff like that, getting ready to rebuild some fence. But anyway, I hadn't been into these in a while. I put it, I made a little short video of this, this big strong hive, I think yesterday. Um, in the evenings, I thought it was like that all day long, but it's not. It's beginning to get that way. I'll show y'all in a minute. You can't see it right now. But in the evenings, the, the front of that hive is covered up with bees. I don't know if it's too hot, <clears throat> um, or what they're doing, but there's a lot of bees in that rascal. But anyway, I want to, I want to, um, get into this this new this package bees and then the hive of gloom and the hive of doom it's been a while since i requeened those two and hopefully we can change the names maybe all them up flying monkeys are gone so um let me uh let me get my stuff on because i don't want to get chased to the house and go screaming like a girl in front of everybody so now I got my smoker lit too. Well, it was. Come on, baby. Oh well. I don't normally need it for these packs of bees. They're not flying monkeys. So let me get my jacket on. And um, there, there she goes. Now she going. See there? I can't light one. It just takes me a while. That's why I don't show you. Okay. Woo, Lordy. I sure hope they've calmed down. But just in case they hadn't. I'm gonna put this on. As the old saying goes, I don't want to get sent to the house screaming like a girl. It's happened before. And I'm telling you, it wasn't a pretty sight. God dang this jacket. I'm really gonna be excited if they're calm because I was ready to I was, I was ready to kill both of these hives. I couldn't take it no more. I'm gonna try it without gloves. So um dang boy you can't you can't even drink a beer with all this on. Shoot. Let me uh let me see what we got here. This is kinda hard to get up. That ain't so bad today. Let me get my smoker going. Come on, babe. Get her going. There we go. Well, not stuck again. There it is. Some of this. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> so far, so good. Hope they stay this way. Right there for. Oh, that's. 
Y'all got fur comb. Y'all got fur comb all over everything. Y'all might need another box. Y'all didn't have to start from scratch like that other ones did. Shit, there ain't no sense in looking in there. They got that baby. If there's some high beetles in this trap, them, them, them rascals are mummies. Well, there's some dead ones in there. They got that sucker propolized from one end to the other. I want y'all to look at this. I did smoke them. And normally, I don't smoke. But, before I requeened them, can y'all see? Before I requeened them, they'd have done been all over me. This ain't the hive of doom, but it was just as bad. Boy, look at them. Shit, they don't even know I'm here. I guess I ain't gonna smoke them no more. I might regret it in about two minutes, but we gonna try. <laughs> Boy, they just laid back as they can be. Oh, shit, well, huh. You know what they say about speaking too soon, but I pinched her. So I guess she had a right. see how this is gonna go already I'm gonna have to get my glove Woo, they light me up calm down now I figured all y'all flying monkeys is gonna be dead by now but I guess I was wrong there's a few of you left crazy rascals Well, you know, they ought to make it easier to put these darn gloves on. But, I guess if it was easy, they wouldn't work as good. There we go. You want smoke? God dang, you got smoke. Now, where was I? What y'all doing with all this wacky cone? some working room. I'm just seeing if y'all can see this. Here, let me move y'all closer. There's still some mean ones in there. There. mostly nectar and honey on that side it's uh it's all nectar and honey
Get me through that jacket. That's all cat brood and emerging brood there. Dinner drill for supper tonight.
back there. Honey. There's the queen on this frame. <laughs> the queen's all the way on frame 10. So, I would say, it's safe to say, I gotta put another box on here. She's running out of room. That's all there is to it. That's a good thing though. You want them to grow. tomorrow and just buy another seat I guess to put it together I got frames and all I just ain't got the god darn boy they stinging through this jacket yeah. so uh well I hope this ain't an indicator for things to come but we're fixing to go down there to the hive of doom This one goes better. I don't know what y'all think. All them, all them mean bees just ain't dead yet. I'm trying to think when I put them new queens in. What's it been? Four, three weeks? Four weeks? I'll have to look back. I'm terrible at keeping records. Just ask my, ask my uh, ag teacher. He wanted me to try to get my Lone Star Farmer Award in FFA. My junior year, I think it was. 
and everybody else, they just pretty much just turned in their record books. He gave me three new ones and said, start over. So that's what I had to do. And apparently I didn't learn my lesson about record keeping. I did get my Lone Star Farmer Award, by the way. <laughs> Dang, y'all probably gonna need another box too. From the looks of it. Come on. We want to change y'all's name now. We tired of the hive of doom. We want to make it something happy. Is everybody having high beetle problems this year? But I'll tell you what, I never had so many of them. I think it's because of all the rain. I might be wrong. But there has been a lot of rain. One, two. Well, they got them all corralled up here on this lid. They just wait for me to open up and kill them. I just killed them. Huh? No, you ain't going nowhere, Fred. That ain't nothing. Oh, look at that little baby. Same high beetle. A little pecker wood. Probably where my bees are so mean. They tired of corralling all y'all. These ain't so bad. Yeah. The other ones down there wasn't, wasn't so bad neither until I took that first frame out. They got hotter than a chili pepper when I did that, though. Okay. Y'all probably tired of looking at me anyway. Let me put it down there. pink color helped a little bit too. Kind of doubt it, but we'll see. Cool y'all with that squirrely comb too, huh? I'm going to show y'all. Up is down, down is up. Everything's backwards. Y'all see that? That's how they draw it out. If there ain't enough wax on that plastic foundation. What's this? Nothing. You don't have to, you always have to go back and straighten that up. So it's best to always make sure your foundations are got a got a good amount of wax on them so they stick to them. Otherwise, that right there, there'll be tunnels and stuff all in there. And if you're ever looking for your queen, that's right where she's gonna go is under all that. That's uh that's all emerged there. Looks like she's laying it back. That's freshly capped. There's a little bee hatching out. She's coming out. These might need a new box too. Drawn 
out yet, but it's got eggs in every one of them. It is. So far, this little hive here ain't so hot. Hive soon. Might be turning a corner for it. That's, that's solid cap brood on both sides. That's good though. That's more good bees and less flying monkeys. I ain't complaining. I put boxes on here all day long instead of fighting what I had. Yeah, see that's all. That's all one or two day old larva there except for that cat food. She's doing good. This side is the same. It ain't drawn out completely, but that's all freshly capped, light colored. bit of pollen. Wow. I don't know if she's on this frame. I really don't like walking around with a frame that's got a queen on it. I don't know if y'all can see that. If y'all can see where we at. If y'all can see that those little larvae in those cells. so far. I'm impressed. I sure am. That's mostly all cat brood there. Pollen and a little bit of honey in one corner. Let's see what this one's got. No. So, out of 10 frames, she's got eight. So, they're ready for a new box, too. I need two boxes. Now I just got to go to the house and see what kind of equipment I got.
They're not too bad. They're not too bad at all. I'm thoroughly pleased. All these, all these bees around me, they're from, they're from the hive of gloom down there. Y'all right, get back in there. say considering what they were considering what that hive was as bad as it was I, I, I would think requeen, requeening them was, was a success. I still think there's some fine monkeys left alive but it's nowhere like it was and you can look back in my videos and you can see how bad it was at one time before I requeened them. So I got one more thing I want to do. I'm going to go down there to that strong hive. And that top honey super is full. I'm going to take it off and see if they're starting in on the, the, the other super that I, that I gave them. I'm not going to get down into that brood box. I really don't want to bother them. They're doing so good. Let's say it takes a day or two for them to readjust and get everything back in order and people pointed the right direction I guess after you open one up and I really just don't want to mess with them like that so I'm just gonna go down there and take the lid off take that full super off the top and look in that other the, the new super I gave them I don't know five or six days ago and see what they're doing with that and then I'm gonna be done and I go to I gotta go to the house and um, see what kind of equipment I got I need two boxes. I got frames and all. I'm short of boxes, so we'll figure something out anyway. I guess it really ain't gotta be today, but <clears throat> sooner the better, I guess. But anyway, I'm gonna take y'all, I'm gonna pause it for a minute and we're gonna go down there and look at the, the big bees. See that? How it's changed since we started this video? They're all over the front. And it's going to get worse as the sun gets lower. So, anyway. I just want y'all to see that. And if, uh, if y'all got any advice, I got a deep and a medium for the brood nest and 200 super. With a, with a queen excluder in between. Um, so we're, we're right in a big of a, right in the middle of a big flow. As uh, soon as that's over, I would like to split the time because that queen is awesome and I, I want some more of her. So, but I'm gonna wait. I don't want to mess with them until until this flow is over, unless I just have to. So we'll see what they're doing. Place to set that heavy super. This full. <laughs> Here we go, see.
pull one of these out. I think that box, I think that super's been on there for about a week. They're all ready to the outside and it looks like this. The tallow trees. The tallow trees is what's, in, is what's really blooming here. Let me look at one more. They're gonna, they need another super already. like that on both sides. Two, three, four. Maybe this one and this one. These outer two frames here are the only two that, that aren't full. So, oh, I've got super frames. I've got medium frames at the house and and medium boxes, so I guess I'll go get one of them in a minute and put that on. Well, they're really getting with it. Anyway, that's really all I wanted to do in there. So this box, this box right here. Holy smoke. <clears throat> Whew. I need a beer after that. Y'all are doing something kind of good. Come on. I've been tilting this lid back. There's screen, you know, on this little shim here. There's regular screen wire so nothing can get in. They got that little entrance there, but I've never seen any of them use it. But I've tilted this hood, this lid back to kind of maybe let it cool a little bit in there. Maybe they can dry that honey out a little bit faster like that. I don't know. So, um, anyway, I guess this one here needs another honey super. The package bees. What you got, Cyrus? Huh? You killed a snake, didn't you? Good boy. Good boy, Cyrus. <laughs> Good boy, Cyrus. Yeah, he's dead. 
He probably broke his back in about 15 places. Sure did. Is it hot? <laughs> Ventures of Cyrus. <laughs>